Former Congressman Beto O'Rourke is in a funk and he's still trying to decide whether or not he's running for president. Hey everybody, I'm Chad HD, host of the Chad HD Show, which airs weekday mornings 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk 95.1 FM and 790 AM KFYO. Beto O'Rourke writing on a blog piece that he's in a funk right now. The Texas Tribune reporting facing calls to uh, run for president after his closer than expected loss to Senator Ted Cruz. O'Rourke has embarked on a road trip outside of Texas, first stops of which he detailed in a medium post on Wednesday. O'Rourke, a Democrat, indicated that he was traveling along uh, U.S. Route 54 from El Paso through New Mexico, across Texas and Oklahoma, and into Kansas. He wrote, have uh, been stuck lately in and out of a funk, O'Rourke wrote, noting that his last day as a congressman was January 2nd, that he's not he's been without a job uh, over uh, the last two decades. Quote, maybe if I get moving on the road and meet people and learn what's going on, where they live, have some adventure, go to where I don't know, uh, I'm not known, it'll clear my head, reset, I'll think new thoughts break out of the loops that I've been stuck in. It really it does sound like Beto O'Rourke is kind of in a bad place right now, but I don't really think he is. He's just trying to get out there, meet people, and uh, drum up a little bit of uh, expectation and a little bit of uh, momentum maybe before he announces his run for president. He's going on Oprah uh, in February, so he can't be that much in a funk. He also gave an interview to the Washington Post uh, the other day where he questioned the principles of the founding of the nation and questioned whether or not those uh, principles of our founding, the Constitution, were actually relevant in 2019. I talked about that quite a bit on the show on Wednesday. Of course, the founding principles of the nation are good. The founding principles of the nation work in 2019, but a lot of Democrats don't believe that. They don't believe it worked in 2016. They don't believe it worked in 2015 or even before, and they don't believe that the founding of the nation and the principles of the nation hold true in the future. Uh, it's, it's something that a lot of Democrats feel, but Beto O'Rourke kind of expressed it. But when you read through this Medium post, and he goes through and he talks about all the people that he's met, uh, I, I guess some are taking away that he sounds like a depressed teenager here or a college student who just just graduated and now he's getting out and uh, you know uh, trying to uh, meet people trying to uh, you know find himself out on the road uh, somewhere come on congressman uh, we know that you're kind of drumming up uh, a little bit of the expectation game you're getting people a little bit invested in who you are personally and your ideas it's the game that you're playing and I have to say you're playing it pretty well because a lot of people are still talking about you to this day and they want you to run for president the most the dangerous thing about Beto O'Rourke is that he's able to connect to people uh, without saying a lot. Beto O'Rourke is able to get people's attention to make them feel as though uh, they are, uh, it's almost like Obama, Obama-like, uh, where uh, people people uh, you know get the feeling that Beto is listening to them, uh, that he is reaching out to them. At the same time, some of the views that he expresses are, are very dangerous, like questioning the principles of the U.S. Constitution. I will take the U.S. Constitution and the principles uh, our nation was founded on over what we're seeing in so many parts of the world. The U.S., while not perfect, the U.S. is a great place, an exceptional place to be, and questioning the principles of our founding is just sad. Tune in to the Chad HD Show weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk 95. 1 FM and 790 AM KFYO. Have a great day.